Hold on, you put some prepare for an awesome video. Third man 55 here. And today, we are taking a look at the case. Axial flow. 9240. 9, this combine weighs. 20,968 pounds. I, I think that's like 10 tons. I could be right, I could be wrong, but I have to check out the tonnage again. I don't have my tonnage, ton sheet, pounds to ton ratio, so. Somewhere around 10. Or 11 maybe I don't know anyway there's some pulleys in there gears belts and stuff kind of <laughs> here's the back it looks kind of it's kind of cool it's got a little chute there for your straw swath there's a trailer hitch for your combine trailers your header trailers warning squares because this thing is pretty wide the big big michelins oh it does have the michelin man pretty cool oh yeah yeah and then there's some more stuff down there your, your tracks very nice all right let's check it out in store so this one is eight number eight in the store so the case agriculture axial flow 9240 engine power is 466 kilowatts 634 horsepower 1200 liters of fuel 166 liters of diesel exhaust fluid 40 kilometers per hour and 14,400 liters of the grain tank. So we got Trelleborg, Michelin, that's it. Standard and wide tires. The Michelins are already the wide tires. Yeah. That's it in the shop. And we also got some more warning squares up on top. To tell you how wide it is. Also, I was going to check the ladder. Uh, you can kind of <laughs> no step no duh you can kind of get up there kind of simulate that you're kind of crawling up you get in the interior you get a nice large window get some shelves window for the grain tank whatever that is, some plastic up there, storage up there, a vent there, a vent there, uh, I don't think the, there's interior lights, you got some more storage up there as well as up there, your air conditioning unit, controls, there's where you stick the key in and turn it on, some more various controls, your joystick, steering wheel and the screen and you do the do, do get two cup holders so, so you get a nice nice upholstery seat looks pretty comfortable passenger just the same thing just smaller still looks pretty comfortable all right we'll get up on top now Kind of, maybe. There we go. There's a really large grain tank. Here's the auger boom, which, which it folds. Here's the exhaust pipe area. I think that's where you put your diesel exhaust fluid. There's your air filter and stuff. A little ladder up there so you can walk on top of the engine see everything here's the exhaust pipe area 
beacon light down there. I believe your fuel tank is right there somewhat. Put your fuel in there. And then there's the drum with your uh, air intake, the fan, the radiator, stuff like that. See some four over here. And you do get a little thing up up top there that opens and closes for your straw swath. Very nice. The pipe little thingy. The auger end has a rotating end so you can move it. Let's open the harvester and you can turn the you can form the pipe into a more straight line there. And then it folds nicely back up when you're not using it. We do get some internal signal lights. Very nice. Uh, then when you turn the lights on, all your interior lights Turn on. You can tell if your beacons are running in the interior because one of them is turning. You can see some flashing on the ground with one of them, and the other one just rotates. Very nice. You see the shadow there. Has a nice horn. I like how beefy this one sounds. 42 kilometers forward. It's just a little slow. Slow accelerator there. Beacon lights. Brakes pretty good. So we got the main lights, the secondary lights, and that's it for the lights. Oh, and the signals. So there's one on the side there, as well as over here, and then the ones on the back. There's a little red lights that turn on on the side here, right there, very nice, and yeah, that's pretty much my review of the Case IH, or in International Harvester, Axio, uh, Axio Flow, Axio Flow, Axio Flow 9240, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.